Okay, so here we go again. And I'm just still hammering away. This time lapse stuff is it's one of those things that you know, if I didn't do this, you'd be waiting watching this for hours and hours of me yammering on to myself. So a lot of this muscle stuff is just something that you're going to have to learn. I can offer you, you know, like that S trick or uh, the fact that, you know, how to push and move forms around all day long, but really, it's one of those things you got to really practice at, which comes down to, you know, the, the assignment is going to be make, make a creature, um, and it's going to be a really big challenge for you to do that if you didn't have any kind of formal anatomy training whatsoever. So here I'm just making a fat deposit right there in the back of the leg. Not much of a muscle, but more you got to understand that, you know, not everything's a muscle. And then we're going to just move those forms around to uh especially right here. Uh, where I flatten out the the cap here. So that form right there, you know, it, it follows a different principle. What I want to do is make it super, super contrasty. So all I did there was just standardize it and flatten it out with the flatten brush. Notice I don't put the kneecap right dead in the center of the leg. You know, that just that's not even true if you look at your kneecap it's not smack in the middle of your leg actually it sits uh, a little to inward of your leg and it sits at a weird angle too if you really look at it okay here's where I'm blending those in and then I'm going to take the flatten brush to flatten across those and that'll mimic skin being stretched across two major forms. Again, working on the contrast. I like to keep a lot of contrast in the muscle changes. Uh, over exaggerate it quite a bit. faster here so I'm staring out to nothing here I'm just working that, that that same principle of a foot here so I'm sculpting a little bit there then trying to make the foot look a little balanced I'm not gonna get the entire foot here on this video uh, the, f the foot got cut off so it's a real easy change all you do is make fingers, and I'll be covering fingers in the front. So if you need to catch up on uh, working fingers, uh, we'll work on the front hand. That'll be a perfect ideal with uh, the fingers. All I'm doing here is moving and compressing the change of forms. This one I didn't have to fix up as bad as the front paw. So, so it's almost just like that front paw with the two the two toes this one you can see the topology actually makes sense so it's going to cut off here and then I want to show you a neat trick that occurs because we've taken so much time on uh, moving the topology around the right way we're going to make a form or a major change in the pose. It's not really, really major, but it's major to the point where it's going to be a crucial role. Because well, right now I got this. Okay, notice how dynamic this is. It goes straight and then down a little bit, and then down and forward. Again, here's here's the end 
piece for the foot you know not much difference here I just moved squashed and I got somewhat of detail in here now I'm not gonna go total detail because you know I, I later on I'm probably just gonna take the clay tube brush and go over the top of everything so this right now is my end result for the back leg okay so let's move on to the next video where I can show you how to move stuff as far as a pose goes.